Now, this one didn't look great on paper heading in, but it looked good for uh -huh. the highlights. Matt yeah. Schaub was in for a fight against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was, I was shocked when I saw the score in the first half. First quarter. Shocked. Blaine Gabbard, play action, sacked by Danielle Manning. Fumbles, Tim Dobbins recovers. Well, so far, this is the way it's supposed to look. Houston with a seven-zip lead, and that defense getting after the opposing quarterback, knocking Blaine Gabbert out of the game. Hit hard on the right arm, and it's going to be Chad Henney's ball game from here on out. Next Jaguars drive, still trailing seven to nothing. Justin Blackman had a monster afternoon, over 200 yes, yards yeah. receiving, 63 yards right here. You know, I saw this kid in the preseason, and I thought he was going to start the season off better than he did this year because he is a tough guy to, you know, not only catching the ball, he has strong hands, runs great routes, but he's also tough after the catch. Mercedes Lewis touchdown would tie the game at seven. Now it's Chet Henney looking for Cecil Shorts and finding him. Cecil is off. 67-yard Jacksonville touchdown. You know, the backside of a blitz when the corner is manned up by himself, he has to make a sure tackle because there's no one over top of him to be the line of defense to slow down a guy. He does like this just happened. He misses him. Chad Henney came out for all <coughs> played well. He, he did not complete 50% of his passes. He did not, but... He, he did. threw for 354 yards. Look at that, Justin Blackman. And four touchdowns with zero interceptions. Like I was saying, this kid after the catch is tough to bring down. Look, I mean, you take nothing away from what Jacksonville did. You just get the sense that that, that Houston team was, was sleepwalking a bit. They were coming off an emotional win over Chicago the Sunday night before. They've got Detroit in Detroit on Thanksgiving Day. Matt Schaub says, Chad Henney, you've got 354 yards, but I've got 16 active tight ends. And that's yeah. Garrett Graham. Game tied at 34. And Matt Schaub threw for 527 Say what? yards. Say what? You 527. Know, you know what we call that, Tom? That's a big day. That's half a stack. Half a stack. Half a stack. A little you know what else had a, a big day? Andre Johnson, 14 catches for 273. Wow. So he sees Justin Blackman's 7 for 236 and right. raises him 14 for 273. Why did I trade? Him for my fantasy team. Five Still seconds right. left in the game. Could Shane Graham, 42-yard field goal up and in, but penalty on the play. Uh-oh. That's Antoine Caldwell called for a false start. Oh, cheating. So now it's a 47-yard field goal that would win the game. Wow. That's not even close. Wow. Let's go to overtime. Let's do it. A little extra. In overtime, Texans on top 37 to 34. Fourth down and 10 for Jacksonville from the Houston 49-yard line. You don't have a play for fourth and ten, do you? I do. How about 15 yards to huh. Justin That's Blackman? That's what it looks like. Led to a Josh Scobie 33-yard field goal, and we are all tied at 37. More than a little surprised that this Texan defense is struggling with this Jacksonville offense. Matt Schaub struggling right there. Puts it on the fingertips of Derek Cox. Taking back 16 yards to the Texans' 47. William & Mary product. There he is. They're really William and Mary. The William yes, and Mary. Well, I tell you, you think we're not in the league what's, and we still what, there. What's the William and Mary mascot? Tried. Okay. Not Fourth. plural. Just tried. Gotcha. Fourth down and ten. <coughs> Looking for oh. Justin Blackman. Oh. Almost intercepted you by Daniel Manning. You know what happened Manning. there? And I think that hit Daniel Manning in a very difficult spot. Well, he, he didn't catch it. I know. But Andre Johnson catches this, and he is gone. Mm -hmm. Game winner. And that's how it ends. 45 yards, Shaw to Johnson, and the Texans win 43 to 37. Again, I think the Houston Texans have to feel blessed that they got out of this game with a win. Uh, it just was a letdown. They were flat on defense offensively. Fortunately, they came to play and they answered everything the Jacksonville Jags had to offer. But Matt Schaub, look at that. Second most in, tied second most in single game. Wow performance in NFL history and Andre Johnson getting after it as well.